It is said that electricity moves at the speed of light when resistance is zero. At this time, electrons have mass, but isn't it contradictory that electrons with mass move at the speed of light? Yes, you are correct. The notion of an electron with mass moving at the speed of light contradicts the theory of relativity. According to the theory of relativity, any particle with mass cannot reach or exceed the speed of light, as the speed of light is considered a fundamental constant of space-time. If a massive particle were to achieve the speed of light, it would imply the breakdown of space-time, leading to potential inconsistencies in our understanding of the universe. However, it has been experimentally observed that in situations where resistance, or drag, is negligible, electrons can move at speeds close to the speed of light. This is possible because electrons have very small mass, and with sufficient energy input in conditions of negligible resistance, they can approach the speed of light without fully reaching it. To address this apparent contradiction, several theories have been proposed, though none have been definitively proven. Here are a few theories aimed at resolving the issue of massive electrons approaching the speed of light. Electrons have a non-zero, albeit very small, mass. According to this theory, electrons do possess a tiny mass, allowing them to approach the speed of light with sufficient energy. Electrons experience relativistic mass reduction. This theory suggests that as electrons approach the speed of light, their mass effectively decreases, making it possible for them to achieve high speeds without violating the theory of relativity. Space-time warping. This theory posits that as electrons approach the speed of light, space-time itself warps in a manner that allows them to reach these speeds without violating relativistic principles. From an external observer's perspective, it may not appear as though the electron has reached the speed of light due to this warping. These theories are still largely speculative and have not been conclusively proven through experiments. Electrons move because of electric fields, and isn't this possible because electric, magnetic, and gravitational fields are formed at the speed of light? Yes, you are correct. The motion of an electron is indeed influenced by the electric field, and electric fields, magnetic fields, and gravitational fields are all believed to propagate at the speed of light. Therefore, it might seem reasonable to assume that the motion of electrons, being driven by electric fields, should be subject to the limitations imposed by the speed of light. However, the behavior of electrons in the presence of electric fields is more complex and governed by the principles of quantum mechanics and relativistic physics. While electric fields propagate at the speed of light, the motion of individual electrons within these fields is subject to the principles of quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, particles like electrons can exhibit wave-particle duality and behave in ways that are different from classical particles. According to the theory of relativity, particles with mass, such as electrons, cannot reach or exceed the speed of light, as the speed of light is considered a fundamental constant of space-time. If massive particles were to approach the speed of light, their relativistic mass would increase, and it would require infinite energy to reach the speed of light, which is not physically attainable. To explain the motion of electrons in the presence of electric fields while accounting for their mass, various theoretical approaches have been proposed, including the ones mentioned earlier, such as the idea of electrons having a small, non-zero mass or experiencing mass reduction as they approach the speed of light. However, these theories remain speculative and have not been conclusively proven through experiments.